record the session. So just so everyone is aware, uh, we are now recording the session for this evening. So Lakehead is for you. So welcome and thank you for joining us to learn more about Lakehead University and our two exceptional campuses in Thunder Bay and Aurelia, as well as our partnership program in Barrie. Over the next hour, we will explore the Thunder Bay campus and give you some insight into what it is like to be a Thunder Wall. So start your adventure. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I would like to begin uh, with Lakehead University respectfully acknowledges its campuses are located on the traditional lands of Indigenous peoples. Lakehead Thunder Bay is located on the traditional lands of the Fort William First Nation, signatory to the Robinson Superior Treaty of 1850. Lakehead Aurelia is located on the traditional territory of the Anishinaabe. The Anishinaabe include the Ojibwe, the Potawatomi Nations, collectively known as the Three Fires Confederacy. Lakehead University acknowledges the history that many nations hold in the areas around our campuses and is committed to the relationship with First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples based on the principles of mutual trust, respect, reciprocity, cooperation, and collaboration in the spirit of reconciliation. So using Zoom, if you do have any questions, please feel free to use the chat feature at the bottom of your screen. You can also use the question and answer function, the live responses from myself and my coworker. We will answer your questions as we go through the presentation, as well as have time at the end of the presentation to answer them. So let's meet the presenters for this evening. This is my coworker, Brittany, and she is the recruitment admissions officer here at Lakehead. And myself, Leah, I am the Recruitment and Events Coordinator here at Lakehead, and I'm also an alumni and took the Outdoor Recreation Parks and Tourism Program. So firstly, we want to say to you, stay in touch. Scan the barcode on the screen here and keep in touch with us and get the latest about Lakehead. We will keep you up to date with dates, latest information, uh, as well as any upcoming events. So why Lakehead? Why would you choose Lakehead? And let's talk about what Lakehead has to offer. Did you know that Lakehead University is one of Canada's top 10 undergraduate universities? We are known for the tight-knit community and faculty that go the extra mile for students. That's why 82% of our classes are capped at 50 students. This ensures that you get to know not only your professors, but also other students. Lakehead University is proud to offer a comprehensive financial aid package of over 11 million annually to support our students. Additionally, we guarantee residence to students coming directly from high school, providing a safe and comfortable home away from home experience for you. With the remarkable 96.3 of our graduates finding a career in their field within two years of graduation, you can be confident that you will be well prepared for your future and future career. So Lakehead University is far from ordinary, and if you've already applied, you are ready for this adventure. If you're still in the process of deciding whether or not Lakehead is the right choice for you, then we encourage you to ask a lot of questions that you can work, we can work together and help you make this exciting decision. So let's take a moment to think about your university years. Do you want them to be typical, ordinary, or just like everyone else? Or you want them to be extraordinary, exceptional, and unconventional. Imagine, if you will, a university that provides a transformative education that is far from ordinary and a place filled with adventure and excitement. 
So the classroom that takes you out into the beautiful surroundings and uses its natural laboratory to enhance your studies. Lakehead is surrounded by nature and depending on your program, many of our classes will be outside on campus. An education that helps shape you and your future using world-renowned facilities and researchers that will challenge and guide you in whichever area you wish to pursue. An environment where your knowledge is applied and you receive hands-on education in your first year of university. A community that supports every kind of team and is proud of its students and all their accomplishments. We have many clubs and varsity teams for you to join. A list of them are, for varsity, we have basketball, men's and women's, cross-country running, Nordic skiing, track and field, volleyball women's and wrestling. And we also have our Thunderwolves hockey team. For club teams, we've got rowing, soccer, men's and women's, ultimate frisbee, volleyball co-ed, as well as men. So now, please sit back and relax while we explore the Thunder Bay campus and hometown. So Thunder Bay is the largest city in Northwest Ontario with incredible art, music, film, and culinary scenes. It's Canada's greatest outdoor city, perfect for those who are not so outdoorsy as well. We are located on the shores of Lake Superior, the world's largest freshwater lake. Thunder Bay is located in the geographic center of Canada with the border to the United States, just 45 minutes south of us. The Thunder Bay International Airport receives 12 daily direct flights from Toronto, from both Pearson as well as Billy Bishop's airport, as well as two from Winnipeg and dozens more from Northern Ontario destinations. If you're traveling by road, Thunder Bay is found at the crossroads of Ontario highways 11, 17, and 61. This means those traveling across Canada or north from the US will easily find our city. Thunder Bay has a population of 123,200. It's the hub of Northern Ontario, located on Lake Superior, an hour and a half by plane with big city amenities with a small town charm. Some quick facts for you that you also see uh, up on your screen there is we have seven shopping districts, Three major airlines, as mentioned earlier, 180 plus restaurants featuring foods from all around the world, 20 plus annual city fest festivals, and 305 days of sunshine per year. We're actually the sunniest place in Ontario. Thank you, Brittany, for adding that in for sure. Okay, next slide. So Thunder Bay is also home of the Sleeping Giant, one of Canada's seven wonders. Thunder Bay is situated in the heart of Canada and is the largest urban centre between Winnipeg, Manitoba and Toronto. A city with deeply rooted European and Aboriginal roots, we are a very diverse and culturally expansive city. So Thunder Bay is sometimes called the Lakehead because it is the head of the Great Lakes. Thunder Bay is located on Lake Superior and is surrounded by parks and wilderness areas. Major industries in Thunder Bay include transportation, manufacturing, education, mining, and forestry. So now we're gonna talk a little bit about the history of Thunder Bay. Humans have been living in this area for over 10,000 years, and the stone tools, spear points, axe heads, and scraping implements 
that have been found provide valuable clues about life in the early days here. Thunder Bay used to be broken up in two different areas, Port Arthur as well as Fort William. Port Arthur was named after Prince Arthur, the son of Queen Victoria, and Port Arthur thrived as a transshipment and grain handling port for the CNR after the railway line was opened in Winnipeg, Manitoba in the December of 1901. The major shipping port was responsible for moving projects from Western Canada through the Great Lakes and still does, 1871 and onward, and Port Arthur was designated as the administrative center for Thunder Bay District. Fort William is named after the fur trade trading settlement formed at the head of the Lake of Superior, which is where the canoe route from the Great Lakes to Western Canada began. <laughs> and now Lake Superior. Today, as you can see here, we have the breathtaking views of Lake Superior alongside a vibrant downtown with nightlife and restaurants. We have a vibrant, diverse, inclusive. Thunder Bay's waterfront district provides a unique opportunity with dozens of businesses. The waterfront district in historic Port Arthur offers, offers a wonderful variety of activities, dining and shopping options, perfect for just about everyone. For shopping, Thunder Bay's premier shopping area features boutiques, specialty antique shops, children's clothing, hair salons, tattoo parlors, and much more. For eating, home to some of the best dining in town, the Waterfront District offers something for every palate. From fine dining to hot dogs, pubs to gelato, the food scene is thriving. And for play, the perfect place to get out and play. The Waterfront District is rich in art, culture, theater, and recreational activities. Park Sam Recreation Aplenty, seen here on the screen, is Boulevard Lake, which is our large public park area located and maintained by the city. The park is centered on Boulevard Lake. The main park is 74 hectares in size and features include a playground, a sand beach, canoeing, kayaking, and other water sports, mini golf, a tennis court picnic tables, a concession area, washrooms, change rooms, and paddle boat and canoe rentals. In the past, the main park has played host to the Thunder Bay Dragon Boat Festival in late July, a two-day event featuring dragon boat races and live musical perform performances and confessions. Winter activities include tobogganing down the slope on the eastern shore of the north portion of the lake. Thunder Bay has over 100 parks and more than 32 kilometers of paved recreational trails. There's outdoor rinks, dog parks, outdoor events, such as car shows, kite festivals, or carnivals, picnic areas, mini putts, golf, botanical gardens, hiking, skiing, biking, etc., much more. So the Sleeping Giant, the Sibley Peninsula, or the Sleeping Giant as it is known in Thunder Bay, is a natural rock peninsula in the shape of a giant sleeping person. The rock juts into Lake Superior, and there's many stories around what this landmark is. One Ojibwe legend identifies the giant as Nanabiju, who turned to stone when the secret location of a rich silver mine now known as the Silver Islet, was disclosed, disclosed by vo voyagers. It is now a part of the National Park, and you can camp, canoe, bike, and hike in and around this Thunder Bay landmark. Fort William Gardens is a multi-purpose arena in Thunder Bay. It hosts large sporting events, 
concerts, conferences throughout the year. And it is also home to Lakehead University's Thunderwolves hockey team. Lakehead Thunderwolves men's hockey team typically plays about 20 games at the Fort William Gardens. These games are a great opportunity for students to go out and experience Canadian hockey. Students living in residence also have the opportunity to sit with all of their housemates and peers from residence in a dedicated section. And Mount McKay, it is a, a large mountain in the south core of Thunder Bay, and it is host to a city lookout and indigenous events like powwows. It's just a 20 minutes from campus and is Loch, and is Loch Lomond Ski Hills. One of two downhill ski, ski areas in Thunder Bay are located near both Loch Lomond and Mount McKay, and it's amazing golf course, the Fort William Country Club. So a little bit more about festivals. From music and culture, festivals to food events, there is something happening every weekend in Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay is live on the waterfront. Summer concerts will give you a mix of live, lively electric music, while the Thunder Bay Blues Festival provides over 18,000 concert goers within an all-star lineup of musicians in the blues, rock, and a little alt country and folk music genres. So taking a local street festival like West Fort Street Fair, the Buskers Festival, experience cultures of the world without ever leaving the city. At events like the Festival of India and the Festa Italiana, don't miss this chance to indulge at Rib Fest, and there is so much happening in Thunder Bay. So located on the south side of the city is our Loch Lomond ski area. It's Thunder Bay's largest ski hill, and it's featuring 17 runs with levels of difficulty ranging from green to double black diamond. The rental equipment and lessons are available, and other on-site activities include tubing, snowshoeing, fat biking, bike rentals are not available at Loch Lomond, and chalet area. And then on the next slide, you'll see here, we have the other ski hill, which is located on the north side of the city, Mount Baldy. It offers a variety of runs and terrain from all ski levels, rental equipment and lessons are available, and other on-site activities include cross-country skiing, tubing, and the chalet area. So a little bit more about winter activities. Bring seasonal clothing if you visit in the winter as there's much to do outdoors. The impressive Nor'wester mountains provide a beautiful backdrop to the city and world-class ski facilities. We're blessed with excellent conditions. We're fast becoming a Mecca for a variety of winter adventures. And from world-class cross-country skiing, ice climbing routes and fat bike trails, dog sledding, and even the exciting sport of snow kiting. Hardcore adventures come your way for some of Canada's best experiences. So here is a full list of winter activities for you guys. I'll read them out here. We've got skating on Lake Tamblin or the waterfront, curling, dog sledding, cat biking, hockey, ice climbing, ice fishing, ice racing, ice skating, skiing and snowboarding, snow kiting, snowmobiling, snowshoeing, and winter camping, of course. So I'm just gonna pause for a moment here. And if anyone has questions about the city of Thunder Bay and the region, uh, before we move on to talk about the campus.
Does anyone have any questions or we continue to go forward? Okay, so we will um, keep going here. Okay, the if there are no questions, we're gonna um, continue on and chat about the campus. Oh, I see a hand raised. So if you wanna go ahead and um, unmute yourself, go right ahead. Or maybe it's in the chat here. How is the weather? So it depends on the time of year. Uh, Thunder Bay is the sunniest place in Ontario, one of the sunniest places in Canada. Um, so it is a very sunny place. In we do experience all four seasons here. In the winter time, it depends on the year. Uh, every year is a little bit different, um, but it can get quite cold. So you do really want to prepare for those negative 20 um, degrees, uh, sometimes negative 30. Uh, we haven't really had that really this year. Uh, it's been a much warmer year this year. Um, so you want to prepare for that, but it may not get that cold. It really depends on the year. And then in the summertime, it's gorgeous. Uh, most days are uh, great for you to go out swimming. There are lots of local swimming holes that you can go um, out for a, a local swim at um, and temperatures usually hit around uh, 30 degrees in the summertime. Um, so it does get quite warm in the summer um, and we have all four seasons here. Uh, and I see that you're from Markham. I'm actually from Southern Ontario as well. Um, I grew up in Hamilton and then I spent some time in um, Newfoundland as well. And I will say um, when I moved here, I was intimidated by what folks uh, refer to as the cold here. Um, I was worried, but it's really not um, what you expect. It's a very dry cold. So um, it's not as intense as I thought it would be. Um, the snow as well, they do get their fair share of snow here in Thunder Bay. But what I will say is because the climate is so dry, uh, the snow is very different than what I was used to in Southern Ontario. Uh, in Southern Ontario, it's very, um, you know, thick, heavy snow, wet snow. Uh, but in Thunder Bay, it's very dry. So when you're shoveling the snow, it's a lot more like powder than anything else. Um, so if that helps a bit, that's kind of what, how it is different from Southern Ontario. Thanks for your question. All right, so if there's no more questions about Thunder Bay, I'm just going to move on to our campus. So Lakehead University is situated in the heart of the city of Thunder Bay. Fields and green space surround our campus and all of the buildings are conveniently located together in one location, creating a true campus feel. Many of the university's buildings are grouped around uh, Lake Tamblin. Um, you see a picture uh, earlier on of folks actually ice skating on Lake Tamblin. Uh, folks have been doing that the past couple of weeks. The university uh, clears it away so the students can go um, ice skating. Sometimes they play hockey uh, games on the ice skating rink there. Um, and then this is what that uh, lake looks like in the summertime. Uh, just a gorgeous area in the middle of campus and our residence hugs the banks of the McIntyre River. The residences actually have um, trails around the back as well and um, yesterday while I was looking outside of the window I could see three deer passing over the frozen lake to go from one side to the other side to uh, pick some food off of the trees there. There are underground tunnels as well, so if you're concerned about those uh, cold winter days, uh, no need to worry. They connect most of our uh, main centralized campus um, buildings, um, so allowing for easy access between classes and facilities. They connect the library as well, so it makes everything uh, easily accessible for you in the winter's time. Paved trails surround the campus, making it the perfect place to take advantage of um, taking in that beauty of the area, whether you're walking, uh, jogging, rollerblading, um, biking, or in the winter, we have a lot of students that do cross-country skiing. So um, here at the Thunder Bay campus, we have um, 7,500 7, students that call Thunder Bay campus their home. So what you see up on the slide is the ATAC building, the Advanced Technology Academic Center. 
uh, where you would take many classes, but it houses engineering and computer science specifically. So here are some quick facts. We've got over 7,000 students, and most importantly, a student to faculty ratio of 15 to 1. Very, very important in your education um, to know your professors one-on-one uh, -on -one and have that personalized experience. Uh, one lake and one river running through campus and over 100 hectares of campus space. When it comes to our campus location, transportation and getting around uh, town specifically, uh, the bus pass or the U pass that it's uh, called by students is a student bus pass that allows students to access public transportation. Um, it's unlimited in Thunder Bay from September 1st uh, each school year until the end of August. So that's accessible to you. So it makes getting through uh, the city much easier for you. And then here's our location based off of the airport. So this is your route from getting um, to campus to the airport. If you're from Southern Ontario, you might be used to having to drive quite a ways to get to Toronto to go where you're headed. Uh, but luckily, everything's very centrally localized in Thunder Bay. Nothing takes more than 20 minutes to get to. And then our next slide here shows the main campus. So just some arrows there to show you main campus, residents and athletics, everything is all close together and surrounded by our natural environment. And then this here is just to show you our location from town. So um, we have the Superstore, um, Walmart, uh, a mall, uh, and uh, th there's an Old Navy, there's a Thunder Bay Center that's got quite a few uh, large box stores, and then we've also got uh, Silver City uh, Cineplex just down from the mall, so lots of things to do, lots of places to go. So this is an important one. Um, support is critical when you're in university. Your time as a student will be one of a kind, but we also want you to feel like you're part of the Lakehead community. Starting with orientation in September, our Student Success Center offers several student appreciation events throughout the year to help students de-stress, refocus, and know that Lakehead cares about you. You won't be alone as a Lakehead student. We're always here to help you right from day one. Our uh, supportive and student-centered philosophy gives you the highest potential for success. It's very, very important here at Lakehead. You matter to us and uh, we are here to help you from your first day of classes um, as a new student right on through to graduation. We offer many academic supports, including um, academic advising, skill workshops, tutoring and peer assisted learning, a math center, a writing center, career counseling, resume writing, um, a job bank, and other student supports include the student health and counseling center, uh, financial advising, uh, pride central and gender equity center, um, Aboriginal student support, and much more. So now we're just going to touch on some specific services. Uh, for Indigenous Student Services, we've got the Indigenous Student Service Centre. Uh, they offer a wide uh, range of services, including um, academic services. Uh, within that, they've got essay writing, research, computer support, tutoring, and then they also do academic workshops and referrals to various Lakehead departments, um, application, uh, course selection, registering assistance, anything of that kind of uh, when you're um, um, applying to different programs and um, selecting your courses if you're having issues with that. They also have advocacy support there for you. Um, academic, essay, research, and computer support, uh, peer tutoring, 
and then also cultural services. So they have a student lounge, they have an elder in residence where there's always an elder there available to you. Um, they've got a sweat lodge site, um, an annual fall harvest, and an LUNSA powwow every year, which is really exciting. And then also individual supports as well, if you're looking for um, the peer mentor program, workshops, lots of one-on-one -on -one support if that's what you're looking for as well. So when it comes to getting involved at Lakehead, this begins right at orientation. Uh, Lakehead offers uh, or provides you with opportunities to get involved, have fun, meet new people, and create connections that last well beyond your first year. Um, so whatever your thing is, whether it's student government, leadership, music, gaming, volunteering, uh, there's no shortage of opportunities for you to get involved. Our Thunder Bay campus boasts more than 50 clubs and associations for you to get involved with. Um, the clubs cater to students with similar interests, such as there's a drone club, which is really cool, uh, Great Lakes Surfing Club, uh, League of Legends, anime, uh, lots of stuff. And if there's a club that you don't see that you think would be fun, um, the Students' Union will help you create that and give you some money to get started. Our students also take part in program specific associations as well. These are fantastic for you to join. I highly recommend them. Uh, particularly Luna is the Nursing Students Association. Uh, ESS is for engineering. ORSS is the Outdoor Rec um, Association. Your on-campus activities um, can also be tracked and used later in your resume um, through our co-curricular record. Um, so you can keep track of everything that you are involved in during your university career. Um, this is similar to an academic transcript. So uh, it tracks your extracurricular involvement and the skills that are associated with each, with each of those activities. The Thunder Bay campus offers you the best of both worlds, from state-of-the-art technology to the historic landmarks of Thunder Bay to um, act as your academic backdrop. In this photo, you can see the Advanced Technology Academic Center on the left and our Cases building on the right. CASES is Lakehead state-of-the-art research building. Uh, it's called the Center for Advanced Studies in Engineering and Sciences, or CASES. Uh, the CASES building features many new research and laboratory spaces, providing students with more opportunities to engage in hands-on experiential learning right on campus. Uh, the new building is designed to meet uh, LEED Gold certification, aligning with current research of environmentally sustainable infrastructure at Lakehead University. Also featured in the new cases building will be a Student Entrepreneur Center, an innovative student-based startup space focused on with student lounge as well. So here in the Cases building, uh, it's home to a variety of um, different um, faculty. So we've got the Center of Excellence for Sustainable Mining and Exploration. The Aboriginal Mentorship is there as well. The Biomass Utilization Laboratory, the Prototype Development Facility, the Nanomaterials and Advanced Technologies Innovation Center, the Laboratory for Integrated Freshwater Science, the Community Ecology um, Energetics Laboratory, the Human Origins Laboratory, the Office of Sustainability and Ingenuity, a business incubator space. So for class sizes, that's a big one. Having um, smaller class sizes helps in a lot of ways uh, during your education and your future as well. So we offer small class sizes. That means that you get to know your professors and they get to know you. You get to be you at Lakehead and not just another face or number in the crowd.
when it comes to staying active, we encourage students to take a break from their studies and to take advantage of our many athletic options on campus with indoor tracks, weight rooms, Olympic sized swimming pool, hot yoga studio, um, and many varsity and club level team options. There is something for everyone on this campus. And if being on the court is not your thing, we encourage you to cheer on for your Thunderwolves and attend a home basketball, hockey, or volleyball game. Our Thunderwolves actually have the highest attendance of uh, varsity of any university in Ontario. Uh, they're a big thing here in Thunder Bay, so definitely recommend you checking out the Thunderwolves games. For more information on getting involved in active at Lakehead, definitely attend our webinar on March 2nd. Spots on campus. So other, there's a lot of great spots on campus as well just to hang out. Um, so the study coffee house is fantastic. It's a cute little spot. Um, every student's uh, easygoing, um, you know, coffee shop. Um, so drop in before class and grab a, your organic fair trade coffee, latte, loose leaf tea, or bag tea, and a little snack from local vendors. Nothing makes the brain work better in the early morning for sure. Uh, at night, bring your instruments and join us at open mic nights where students can share their talents with others among friends. You'll see the outpost there in the photos. The outpost is your um, campus pub. Join us for lunch, dinner, and relaxation every day of the week. The outpost has live music, atmosphere um, is fantastic there, and the menu is fantastic as well. And then the bike shack. So the students union runs a bike shack and it offers cyclists a place to store their bike safely and out of the weather. So you can join hundreds of students in their efforts to be sustainable and active. So are there any questions before we move on to um, ways to connect? with us. Yeah, so the Athletic Center is included, um, not just with residents, but every student gets access to all of our athletic facilities. Um, you're, you'll have a gym membership, you have access to the Olympic size swimming pool, and a discounted rate there at the hot yoga studio. I will also add, I did answer a question while you were chatting there, Brittany. There was a question about if the bus pass costs anything. And no, the bus pass is already a part of your tuition. So all students um, get a bus pass sticker put on your student card so that you can get around town. Any other questions uh, specific to the Thunder Bay campus? I do see one, are there jobs available on campus? And yes, uh, we do have jobs available on campus. You can study at Lakehead as well as work at Lakehead at the same time. And the jobs are very flexible where we work around your class schedules. Uh, for example, some jobs that would be available to you are working on campus as a tour guide for any tours that come into Thunder Bay. Uh, you could work um, they're at the different uh, facilities on campus, like the athletic facility at the front desk or work or within the different departments on campus. There is many options and um, those get posted. Um, usually they get posted at the end of summer for the upcoming year. I see Lauren has her hand up. Um, did it... If you want to ask your question, Lauren, you can go ahead. I might have the um, chat function turned off. If you would like to type your question, we're happy to go through uh, the, the question and answer chat here. There are um, a couple of questions about residents and, and all about uh, scholarship. So I'll answer the scholarship question. 
So um, this person asks um, about our scholarship grid. We have a scholarship grid uh, that offers automatic scholarships for students with a average of 80% or higher in their best six URM courses. This student was lucky enough to um, be eligible for free tuition, which is exceptional. So great job. Um, you're eligible for free tuition if you have a 95% or higher in your best six URM courses. And and uh, that will be applied automatically. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, we will apply it uh, to your student account and you'll see it come off of the charge for your tuition. Um, so you don't have to apply for those. If you are interested in applying for other scholarships and bursaries, we do make it very easy for you in the student portal. You'll put in all of your information and it will populate the scholarships and bursaries that you qualify for. And so you can apply for those there through the portal. And then I see Lauren is connecting to audio, so we may be able to get Lauren's question. Maybe not. So we'll hold, we'll hold on for Lauren and see. Oh, I see your question down at the bottom. Do you have a frosh week? Uh, thanks for your question, Lauren. So we do have um, what would be considered a frosh week at, as orientation week. So um, all of those events are held by a variety of different organizations at the university. Um, so the Students' Union hosts a variety of uh, events throughout the whole first month of September. Lots of stuff, ha stuff happening every single day for you to get involved in. They do pool parties at our Olympic-sized swimming pool. All of our athletic games starts um, going on. So lots of happening there in athletics and lots of events happening on campus as well at the outpost, at the cafe there, um, at our main uh, student center um, in the Agora. And then as well, if you do decide to live in residence, uh, the residences host their own events as well. So lots happening every single day in residence. Um, what's great about residence, and there's a, a few questions there about residence. So uh, Leah and I can chat a bit about residence as well. Um, what's great about residence is it kind of works Harry Potter style. So you'll get put into a house and that house will have its own colors, its own mascot. You'll get a t-shirt that, um, highlights the house that you're in and they really push a uh, team spirit there. So throughout the whole year, your house will be uh, getting points, just like in Harry Potter, and you earn those points through spirit. So um, they do have uh, sporting events uh, against all of the different residences. And the way you gain points towards um, your house is actually through spirit and attendance of those games and not actually the points on the board. And the same goes for a variety of events that they threw, uh, do throughout the year. They do a winter carnival style event in the winter as well, where all of the houses go against each other. And then at the end of the year, one of the houses wins the house cup. So um, that's kind of the exciting thing about residence. You do also have access to two different cafeterias on campus. Um, so lots of ways for you to meet new folks and uh, get involved, meet new friends there in residence. I do see as well, um, there's a question, is athletic center included with residence? So you, uh, as a student, you are uh, able to use our athletic facility. It again, is all part of the tuition. Um, it's not connected to the residence. It's just a quick walk over. It's uh, the closest thing. The residence is the next closest thing to the athletic facility, but you do have um, flexibility of going to the uh, athletic facility on campus. And then I see here, can you share more about residence? So Brittany did a great job explaining um, our first year housing and, and the, the team spirit and the, how it's kind of like Hogwarts style. We also have up your housing. So if you come to Lakehead and want to live on campus throughout all your years here, you definitely can. We have townhouse options where you would have room with three other roommates. And then we also have apartment style, again, where you would room with three other roommates. Uh, so those would be the up your housing. We have mature housing as well. And we also have one residence set aside called Pretty Residence, which is an all girls residence, if that's of interest to anyone as well. 
another unique thing about Lakehead residents is we're one of the only schools that uh, guarantees you your own room. So everybody straight out of high school is guaranteed a spot in residence and everybody gets their own room, which is awesome. It was not like that when I went to school. So um, you can know that you'll have your independence and your privacy while living in residence, but you still get that feeling of um, camaraderie and easy to make friends. Another thing about um, residents is uh, it's also right next to the uh, health center. So very close to access your uh, counseling. Um, it's like a two second walk from where you would be living. So we offer counseling services within 24 hours. Um, so it's very accessible for you. And then there's a question in here about engineering. So I'll just uh, quickly touch on the engineering um, diploma uh, degree that we have. So uh, Lakehead is actually the only university in Ontario that offers a diploma along with the engineering degree. Our engineering degree is very hands-on. Um, so you qualify for that degree or diploma after two years. And then after four years, you'll get your degree. The entirety of your Lakehead experience is hands-on. So it's not just your first two years that are hands-on. All four years offer experiential learning. Um, we also offer research opportunities right from first year. That's another thing that's very unheard of in university. Students can get involved in undergraduate research right from first year, um, which is great for uh, putting some stuff on your resume and uh, opening you up to some more opportunities. You do have to apply right into the faculty that you're interested in. So um, sometimes at other schools, you can apply to general engineering and then choose your um, your um, specialty later. We ask that you uh, apply right into that program right from first year. That actually saves you some money. Then you don't have to reapply again. Your spot is saved. You're in engineering. You don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to get into your program or not. You're in your program right when you start. Um, and uh, and yeah, like I said, um, hands on all four years, you just get that diploma after your two years, just because that's when you qualify for it. And then your degree after four. Thanks for the question, Tony. So we've got a question here for residences. It says uh, the townhouses are for upper years and not for first years. So um, we do recommend living in the resident style for in your first year. It's a lot easier to meet folks and to get involved with residence events. However, um, if you're interested in moving right into the townhouses, that is an option. Um, the townhouses are the, um, the location where it is um, accessible for folks that might have a wheelchair or other um, needs like that. So um, there are definitely options. If you're not interested in living in the resident style apartments, you do have other options for first year or resident style houses, I should say. Thanks for the question. And then uh, it says, could you explain more about the all girls housing? So the all girls housing works the same as all of the other residences. It is a traditional resident style. So um, you're, you do get your own room, but it uh, works like um, kind of the, the house style where you have a house mascot and all those types of things. So you do get to um, engage in all of the residence activities that are happening, uh, particularly during orientation and all those events that we were talking about. Um, the only exception is that it's just for girls. Let me know if that answers your question. So I see a question here for the meal plans in residence. Uh, I can touch on that. So uh, for the meal plan, we do have uh, two cafeterias. So there's the residence cafeteria and that part of your meal plan would be an unlimited balance where you can walk into the cafeteria, it is buffet style, you can sit in there as long as you want, eat as much as you want, and every time you walk in, you just scan your card. We also have the main calf, which is the declining balance part of your meal plan. So on your meal plan, you have the rest cafeteria, 
as well as a declining balance. And really, you would look at the declining balance as like a debit card on your student card, where you go into the main CAF and you can just purchase whatever it is there that you would like. We've got a piece of pizza, a sushi station, a grill station, a and um, another station that changes monthly of what they're or what they're uh, providing and we also have a subway uh, also located in the main calf so that one you would just pay as you go and then throughout campus we have different options like starbucks or bubble teas and that you can also use your declining balance for as well and you don't have to have a meal plan to be able to eat on campus anyone can come and use your your own personal debit card to have have a meal. And yes. then there's a question about, oh, sorry, Leah. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a question there. Um, is there a hospital for health programs? Um, so what I'm assuming you're asking, well, is there a hospital? Yes, actually, um, the Thunder Bay Regional is actually right across the street, uh, which is exceptional for folks that are studying nursing. Um, your clinicals are right uh, across the street, so it makes that easier for you. You do end up needing to visit the hospital for whatever reason um, while you're studying here in Thunder Bay. Hospital is very close by. There is also the uh, campus clinic. So again, right next to residence, um, they've got uh, nurse practitioners that are available there Monday through Friday. So you can make appointments with them um, about anything, whether you're looking for birth control, COVID tests, you've got a flu, um, anything like that. They're available right on campus for you. If it's a, something a little bit more serious, the hospital is just there for you. Be honest, how's the food? Because there's mandatory meal plans for first year residents. Um, so it's your it's your generic residence food. I think it's great. I eat in the, in the cafeteria all the time. Um, I was quite impressed to see the uh, vegan halal options, um, huge salad bar. So lots of really healthy options is, uh, for you, um, which typically you don't really find on a uh, university. So there's also uh, sushi, Subway, Pizza Pizza. There's a rotating um, restaurant that's there. There is a Chinese food restaurant, um, but the buffet would be your kind of main area for your um, residence mandatory meal plan because you can go there 17 times a day if you want to. What's great about the cafeteria is they do have your make your own station as well. So you can make your own um, sandwiches. There's a, um, a salad bar there. You can make waffles. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, that's there too. And then they've got a whole buffet um, style that changes all the time. So lots of options there for you. Is the Learn and uh, Stay grant grant guaranteed for all students in nursing? So for folks that don't know what the Learn and Stay grant is, this is a uh, program that's run by the Ontario government, and um, it essentially pays for your tuition if you commit to um, living and working in the area that you studied. So for Lakehead Thunder Bay students, uh, you would be um, having your education paid for by the Ontario government for four years, and then you would commit to two years um, after you graduate to stay and work in Thunder Bay. Um, I'm not sure if I can say it's guaranteed because the Ontario government has to commit to it every year. Um, so that's kind of where we can't really say if it's guaranteed or not, um, but most students that apply for it are accepted. It's just a matter of whether or not the Ontario government commits to it every year, if that makes sense. Is there halal options for meal plans? Yes. The, the, um, the cafeteria does offer halal options for sure. It's a very popular request as well. And then what is the nursing program like? Thank you for your question. 
So our nursing program is exceptional here at Lakehead. It's one of our more popular programs. Um, we start clinicals right from first year. That's one of the unique things about the Lakehead nursing program. Uh, some students often find that they've done two years of nursing at other schools, and then they start their clinicals and they forgot everything that they learned two Septembers ago because it takes so long to get into those clinicals. So every year of nursing will look like um, theory and then your uh, labs and then clinical every year. Um, your clinicals will likely be done at the hospital. Like I said, it's right across the street. So everything's very centrally located. And we are well known for our um, mannequin. So we have an exceptional lab space for nursing students that are um, dedicated to only nursing students. So you're not sharing your lab space with other students that are studying other things. It's only for nursing students. And we have a mannequin that is incredibly high tech. He talks to you, he breathes, his eyes blink, he starts screaming and you have to figure out what's wrong with him. He's very interactive. Um, you can remove the uh, bottom half and make it a female anatomy and practice delivering a baby. Uh, so it's exceptional because you get to practice on fake humans before you're working with the real ones. Um, sometimes folks uh, get a little intimidated about doing a clinical in first year. You don't have to worry. It's typically in a senior's home. So it's nothing too serious, like an emergency room or anything. But those wheels are turning right from first year. You're getting that hands-on experience. And that's what Lakehead is all about, making sure that you get lots of hands-on experience so that you're comfortable before you're out into the real world. Another great thing about um, our Lakehead nursing program is in your fourth year, we actually offer folks to do their clinicals internationally if they want to. Um, there's a lot of um, opportunities worldwide um, and also um, in, like other places in Ontario or in Canada, if you're interested, um, Chicago, Chicago is very popular, um, but lots of uh, options internationally. We're all about um, experiential learning in any ways that we can get it for you. So um, international placements is a great way to um, expand your horizons and uh, learn about nursing and how it's done in other countries. So um, that's a great opportunity for students as well. When do applications open for residents? So applications are already open. We recommend that students apply today as soon as possible um, to guarantee that you um, you will be you will get a spot if you're straight out of high school, regardless. But getting your application in sooner rather than later is always great. Um, so they're open now, and we encourage you to apply. So uh, we've got a question here from Charlotte. What is the environmental science program like? So um, the environmental studies program has, um, you know, a core common courses plus the required courses for whatever major you decide to do, um, but they span three disciplines. So biology, earth science, and geography. Um, each program uh, contains both science and social science and humanities components to ensure you're receiving a well-rounded background in modern environmental challenges. Um, I highly recommend taking a look at our natural resource management program. Um, if you um, look at our website, there are a lot of options within that program. So it's great for folks that aren't really sure what they wanna do, but they're interested in the environment. The reason why is because the natural resource management program starts off with two general years. Um, what's neat about your first year, well, at the beginning of the year is you get to do a two week um, like 
um, exchange out into uh, the boreal forest and around Lake Superior. So um, you get uh, to get your hands dirty with your uh, cohorts and go out into the field and collect your samples and um, kind of really get involved in that natural environment of uh, Thunder Bay. And then um, you study what you've collected. And then after your um, your two years, you can choose your stream. There's six different streams to choose from. Um, there's three in forestry and then three in environmental management. So if that's something that you're interested in as well, highly recommend taking a look at that to see if there's anything that interests you. Um, our students that are graduated from the Natural Resource Management Program have a 100% employment rate before graduation. So that's exceptional. That means that everybody who graduated from the Natural Resource Management Program last year had a job offer before they crossed the stage at graduation. So if that's something that um, matters to you, definitely take a look at that program as well. There's lots of options there. So for nursing, um, I believe that the nursing um, acceptance letters will go out March 1st. I believe that is when they go out. Um, so you should hear by then if you uh, haven't heard anything and you're wondering um, what is going on with your um, application, you can always email us and we can take a look in the system to see where it is. What is the cutoff date for residency applications? Correct me if I'm wrong, Leah, but I believe it's June 5th. I want to say June 3rd, uh, but I believe we also have it in our last slide that we're going to be showing. Okay, the questions just keep trickling in, so bear with us while we go through this. So I do see a lot of questions uh, in regards to all the different programs, like I see here, computer science, kinesiology, water resource program. Um, we do have many other webinars that we will be hosting through the semester um, that is all posted on our website. So you are more than welcome to take a look there. Uh, we also do provide um, recruitment advisor appointments online through our website with all of our recruitment advisors where they can delve deep into uh, more of these questions specifically about program-based. Um, so do feel free, I can add in uh, the chat here how to set up one of those appointments so that that's available to all of you and just to be mindful of time and make sure that we get through all the questions. So what I might do is um, I don't want to overwhelm people with too much information. So I'm just going to go through the, the questions that folks have asked about um, the programs, and I'll just answer them quickly with one-shot answers, but highly recommend that you attend the webinars on each program because there's a lot to learn about all of them. And I could go on and on about all of them because they're all so wonderful. So I'm just going to go through these really quick. Um, but remember that uh, our website ha is exceptional and has lots of information. And those webinars will be great as well. So um, water resource management. So I'm just going to do answer this live. So um, Lakehead is the only undergraduate program in Canada that specializes in water resources. Ex the reason um, why it's so exceptional here is because of our lake, our location on Lake Superior. Lake Superior is the largest lake in the world, surrounded by rivers, small inland lakes, a boreal forest. It makes Lakehead a great place to study water resource management. Highly recommend taking a look at more information about that program. Uh, you'll find it under the Science and Environmental Studies faculty. 
And then um, computer science, I'm going to do this one live. So um, we are one of the only schools in Ontario uh, for computer science that offer a fully integrated co-op option, um, which is really cool for computer science. Um, we also have a um, help center dedicated to computer science to help you, um, particularly in, for in first year, to ensure that you have a, a good, well-rounded understanding of all of the computer systems. So there will be somebody there to help you one-on-one -on -one to make sure that you have a good um, bedrock of understanding of all of those computer systems before moving into your higher um, levels of that degree. Definitely check out the computer science co-op option. Kinesiology, answer live. Uh, so for kinesiology, another one, uh, we are one of the only folks that offer a co-op option in kinesiology. The kinesiology co-op is really cool because the kinesiology department is located in that athletic facility. So we were showing you pictures of the basketball courts, the athletic rooms, the um, uh, the Olympic size swimming pool, right above all of that is the kinesiology department. And your co-op is right from first year working as the acting kinesiologist for the athletic uh, department. So you work one-on-one -on -one with our varsity athletes as the acting kinesiologist for them, and you get hands-on experience right from first year. Definitely check out the website to get more information on that one. Is it possible to access this recording after the webinar? Absolutely, we post all of our um, recordings on our YouTube channel, correct me if I'm wrong, Leah. Um, and so you can find lots of um, old webinars that we've done in the past um, on our YouTube channel. Highly recommend checking those out um, and you can find this one there as well. So if you haven't been taking notes, that's okay. Um, can you switch your majors when you get there? For instance, I have a conditional general arts, but rather would like to take sociology. Absolutely. It's very common for students to take or to switch their programs. Um, you know, it's really difficult to know what you want to study when you're 17 years old. And so it's very common for students to switch programs. Uh, it happens a lot. The Student Central um, Department in the University Center can help you to figure out what you need to switch um, because all of the program requirements that are listed for a high school student still apply. So if you um, haven't taken a certain course for one program um, because you were focused on another program and taking all the courses for that, that's okay. Um, there are um, courses that you can take at Lakehead that are equivalents to help um, you get the requirements for the program that you wanna switch into. So um, you can make appointments with Student Central and they will help you figure out what you need to take at Lakehead to um, be able to get accepted into a different program and switch over, but it's very easy. answered. <clears throat> okay, how is the anthropology program? So um, we do a variety of options in the anthropology department. Um, they have four distinct sub-disciplines um, with a variety of topics that you can explore in each. Those four are archaeology, bioanthropology, linguistics, linguistics, and sociocultural anthropology. Um, there is blended options in all of those um, topics. So you'll get in-class lectures with seminars, labs, field work. Uh, it's a very well-rounded program. Um, so you'll get both that theoretical perspective as well as practical applications for your area of interest. Um, we do run a field school for um, anthropology students um, over the summer, so that can help to provide some hands-on training in actual um, archaeological excavation, laboratory analysis, uh, material culture identification, mapping, depending on uh, what you choose as your specialty. Um, these field schools 
typically take place in Northwestern Ontario. However, we do have partnerships with organizations in Croatia, Israel, Italy, um, should you choose to want to go internationally uh, for your destination to supplement your studies. Uh, we really encourage folks to do as much traveling and get as much experience as possible while they're studying at Lakehead. So definitely take that, uh, take a look at that as well. What is the name of the YouTube channel? I believe it's just Lakehead University. Unless I'm wrong, which Leah will tell me. We can also include um, the YouTube channel in reaching out to you afterwards. We will send out an email to everyone who attended this evening. Um, so we can add that um, in our email out with the attachment to our YouTube channel. And just to be mindful of time, um, I just want to go through the last few slides with everyone and we will get to everyone's questions. I just want to make sure that we do um, answer, go through the last few slides because there is some important information on there for everyone as well. Okay. So next steps. What do you do now? important dates that we want to share with you. So this is a quick reminder for you. April 25th is our application for the President's Scholarship Application Deadline. June 3rd is the deadline to accept your offer and as well as the deadline for your application into residence. And June 30th is your entrance bursary deadline as well. So join us for upcoming events. We've got, uh, we'd like to personally invite you to join us in person um, for our March break open house, which will be in Thunder Bay on Tuesday, March 12th. And then also we will have a March break open house in Aurelia campus on Friday, March 15th. Now the March break open house will be an opportunity for you to tour campus, have a residence tour, Join in on a program showcase. Uh, join in on some games. We'll have our campfire going by Lake Camblin and Thunder Bay and our campfire going just outside our main building at Aurelia campus. We will have an opportunity for you to meet and greet at the beginning of the day, as well as an opportunity to eat in our residence cafeteria. So that day will be full of a fun adventure for you to explore campus and get to know more about what each campus has to offer. And then we also have more of our getting for ready for Lakehead series. Today was our first one for the semester, but we also have Get to Know Aurelia happening on February 20th. We have Getting Involved and Active at Lakehead on May 7th and Financing Your Education on May 14th. And again, there's many more webinars happening. If you visit our website, it's just at the bottom of the screen there. We have them all listed for you and you can sign up. We also would like to mention that it was great sharing with you and how much we love Lakehead University. Now it is your turn to see it for yourself. So if you can't make it to our open house, uh, you can book your own campus tour. So for those of you who may be traveling um, to campus to visit, we do offer a campus tour bursary. So you can get up to $500 for, the, for traveling more than 150 kilometers to come visit us. And you can learn more about this on our website when you research campus tours on our main page. You can also book a tour through the QR code on the screen that's up currently. So let's get social. Follow us on social media to truly see what it is like to be a Lakehead Thunderwolf. You'll find us at hashtag MyLakehead. And again, stay in touch. Scan the barcode to keep in touch to get the latest at Lakehead. We'll keep you up to date with the latest information as well as all of our upcoming events. And lastly, we would like to uh, thank you 
for joining us. And we look forward to joining you as you take the next step in your adventure. Thank you for taking the time for joining us this evening. And we do look forward to connecting with you all again soon. And this is the end of the presentation. So do stick around um, as we will finish up answering the questions. Um, so right now I will uh, look over to see what questions that we've got here. Okay, so the first question here is, uh, can you switch from a science major to the nursing program down the line? You absolutely can. You will have to reapply through you through the OUAC website to the nursing program. Um, you may get, because it uh, is closely aligned in your science program, you may get a couple of courses that you would have waived, but you would start right from first year in nursing um, because those years are so prescribed and you have to do your theory, then your clinical, or uh, then your labs, then your clinical. You would start from first year. Some courses may transfer over. Um, it is an option for you, but you would be starting right from first year. Can varsity athletes take a reduced course load and still get the entrance scholarship, i.e. free tuition for above 95? So um, the entrance scholarships are based off of your high school grades. So uh, they'll take a um, an average of your best six URM courses in high school, and that will determine what your entrance is uh, when you stay, when you come to university. If you're referring to... Um, the ongoing um, scholarships that you can continue to get if you maintain those grades in university, they are based off of a full-time course load. Uh, if, if that is something that you're concerned about, um, I recommend reaching out to the Athletic Center. Um, if you go on our website under the um, athletic department, uh, you can find contact information for all of the different coaches. Um, definitely recommend reaching out to them and asking them how um, students facilitate that um, work, sport, school life balance, um, and they can give you some suggestions as well. Uh, if accepted to Thunder Bay program, is there any way to switch to Aurelia? Uh, you would apply. You would just go through the OUAC website, apply, or you can amend your application on the OUAC website and uh, and switch to Aurelia. Wonderful. Well, we, oh, I see another question popping up here. Uh, does this school have a homecoming? Um, so Lakehead does have uh, formals, proms, all of that stuff facilitated through the students union as well as through res residents. So lots of options. Uh, it's not called homecoming, but uh, formals and proms and all of that stuff are offered on campus for sure. Okay, we will stick around for a few more minutes if there's any more questions that anyone has. Thanks everyone for joining us today. This has been very helpful. No problem, Jennifer. Thank you, everyone. Oh, I see a question here. Sorry, I missed this one. Um, how are the music programs? So if you're interested in music, um, you will get advanced skills in um, performance um, through individual instruction in voice, piano, guitar, saxophone, organ, or any um, orchestra app, uh, in instrument. You will have, if you apply, um, you will have a um, component of auditioning as well. Um, you'll participate in a variety of music ensembles, and then you'll also enjoy a comprehensive range of performance and academic courses. Um, so uniquely supportive learning environment where you're doing both performance um, and academic courses as well at the same time. Um, and they do uh, talk to you about a variety of career paths in music. So depending on what you're interested in, to, in they will um, kind of help you to figure out what you could do with that music degree um, that's specific to your interests. Do students need to leave residents around holidays such as Thanksgiving and Christmas? I think like uh, uh, Leah is typing out your answer for you. And the answer is no, uh, residence is always open. And then um, how many classes are considered a full course load? Uh, five courses a semester is considered a full course load. And then our last question here um, is making sure that that March 
first deadline for nursing or uh, hearing back from nursing is March 1st. If you just give me one second, I'm going to check my list here for you, Abhi, just to make sure that that is the correct date. So if you just want to give me one second, I'll take a look. And if any other questions come in, we can answer them.